What's up guys, we're looking at the R50 Pro Seeker. This is the LE or Law Enforcement Kit. There is a, another version of this which just comes with a magnetic kind of tail charger type deal. Well, this one actually comes with a, uh, a stand or a charging dock that you actually place it in. And this charging dock is, it's awesome. I definitely like it over just the original version. I do like the magnetic version, how it just uh, sticks on the tail cap but just how this this mount is I just really like this thing a lot because it allows you to mount it uh, just about anywhere uh, on the wall or on your desk and it has some really neat features which I'll cover here in a second but uh, they also include a car uh, charger so you can plug this into the 12 volt in your car and you can mount this in your car and it comes with a few different mounting plates so say if you need to move it over time to your house or to your car or whatever if you're law enforcement uh, and it, you can take off the actual charging mount piece and then put it on a different one and it comes with screws so you can screw this right into whatever you need it to and it also has uh, velcro so you can velcro it uh, i would suggest screwing this this is not something that can just sit on your desk the base the magnet is just too strong uh, and, it, and actually, it's not just, I mean, this thing can be mounted upside down too. So it's like, kind of has like these two guide magnets that kind of align it. And then you push it straight down to be charged. And it's a nice, solid unit. Um, and you just plug that right into your wall. So that's basically the only difference. There's no difference in the actual light itself. So say if you get the original version and you want to just get one of these docking stations, which I would suggest because it's awesome. Uh, you can always do that and vice versa if you want to have maybe one of these docking stations in your house and then just a little uh, USB you know the other one for the car you can work out something like that but something I want to talk about this light it's got a really neat feature so if this is mounted somewhere um, and there's a little switch on the side you can turn that on and off and when it's on say if it loses power then the light will turn on which is really neat think about a blackout and you don't even know where anything is well guess what you know what room your flashlights in and it will actually be on so you can find that very easily uh, something though if you think about that in the car though if you have that on and you turn off the power to your car uh, then the light will be on so that's something you might want to turn off if you're gonna mount this in your vehicle so like I said in the box it comes with the wall adapter it comes with the actual charging uh, module itself and then it comes with a car charger also comes with a nice holster that you can holster on your belt some additional mounting brackets and some screws now if we take a look at this light it has a max output of 3200 lumens so at its max output you'll have 3200 lumens and that is at 1.5 minutes then it drops down to a thousand lumens for an additional 150 minutes then on high is 1500 lumens for 10 minutes it drops down to a thousand lumens for 160 minutes medium is 400 lumens still super bright at 7.5 hours and low is 60 lumens at 50 hours now when you first turn this on you just do a simple press of the side switch and then you do like a longer hold to cycle through all the different modes and at any time you can access the turbo by double pressing and you'll get that 3200 lumens also when the light is off you can double press and it will go to that 3200 lumens so this does have memory so whichever mode that it turns off in it will turn back on in that uh, in for the turbo though I think it might only stay for 10 minutes or so and then it will just resort to the highest setting this also offers a lockout feature if you want to kind of lock this out you would just hold down the side switch for three seconds and it will lock out and then it will actually glow red saying hey I'm locked out and then to unlock it you just hold down for another three seconds and it will turn back on also that side switch is an indicator when the battery is getting weak or getting drained it will actually glow red saying hey I need to recharge something also is that it is a pretty quick charger in just a, uh, an hour and a half it will charge up to uh, 80 percent so and also on the charger there's three different lights there's one that will be red while it's charging below 80 percent and then above that 80 percent 
it will turn like a yellowish color and then it will turn green when it's fully charged. So the R50 Pro Seeker has a 250 meter throw, has a 15,600 CD, an IPX8 totally submergible up to six feet. It can handle a one meter impact drop. It has a Cree XHP70 CW and weighs 262 grams, including the battery. And the battery is a big battery. It's a 26650. 3.7 volts, 4,500 milliamp hours, and of course it is rechargeable, so that way it will work with the charging dock. So all around, I think this is an awesome light. I'm really loving it. I think the design is awesome. Uh, it's a great size to keep around the house or for your law enforcement. The only thing is, if you're law enforcement, is that it does have their single side switch. It is a low profile rubberized side switch. It's very responsive. It feels good. The only thing is, I've heard a lot of people say is that if you have gloves on or something and it's dark out, sometimes it's hard to find that side switch and you'd want to be able to, you know, turn it on right away uh, to see whatever the heck is going on. So. Just keep that in mind though, but I mean, if you've had this side switch before, it's basically the same one that is like on the other O lights. Uh, another thing about this light is that it does have a very strong magnet in the tail cap, so this can be a hands-free light if you wanna magnetize it to the ceiling or whatever you need to do and just light up the room. It's uh, very bright and I'm, I would definitely recommend this light. So I'll put a link in the description and that's that. Thanks for watching.